Hey guys and girls. So in this tutorial, we are going to be looking at SQL Lite. So SQL Lite is a free open source um, module that we can use with Python, and it allows us to create databases and um, query those databases using SQL without actually needing a server. So this is actually really uh, useful. So for those of you who are maybe in a school where you can't run a server or you're not quite sure how to set one up yet, this is a, a quite a useful way to learn the uh, SQL language and how to work with databases. So it's gonna be um, a small series of videos, uh, very short uh, sections just to get you up and running with creating a database and manipulating some of the data inside a database. So in this one, we're just gonna show you how to import the module and uh, create the database ready to do some stuff with it. So I'm working in PyCharm. If you're not sure how to uh, install PyCharm and you want a video, just let me know in the comments below. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is create a new Python file. And I'm just going to call that uh, SQL Lite uh, tutorial. Okay, and then I'm going to switch over to presentation mode. And if we just look here, you can see that there's no database file or anything created yet. So we're going to go into presentation mode and we shall uh, get started. So we're going to import. Uh, SQL Lite 3 and with SQ with with that module so with SQL Lite 3 we are going to connect to a database so we can see here connect and that database is going to be uh, users.db And we're going to create a little, like a variable, and we're going to refer to users.db in the future as just db, which is our database. So it's like shortens out, shortens how we uh, use, um, how we refer to our database. And then we're going to create a cursor. So for those of you who don't know, a cursor allows us to manipulate data within the database. So for instance, we could uh, use it to query or return the results of a query, run a query, things like that. And you'll learn more about that later. Uh, so we're going to do the cursor. We're going to call our cursor db.cursor. And that's it. So what we will do is we will run this. And that's run fine. So what I can do now is we'll drop out of um, presentation mode and we will have a look at our file structure and as you can see here we've now got users.db so our sql command has worked um, we've connected to the database and we're all ready to uh, get working um, by creating a table um, and doing some stuff with that so um, i hope you found that first bit useful come back for the next video and don't forget to like, subscribe and share.